Hello buddies, welcome to my channel English Minya, it's me Sharon. Today's topic is the types of ASTM mechanism in phonetics. This is the continuation of my previous video on phonetics. If you haven't watched that video yet, please watch it and continue this video. Otherwise, you can't get my points. So, without any delay, we'll get to the topic. As I told you in my previous video, there are three ASTM mechanism. The first one is pulmonic ASD mechanism and the second one is glottalic ASD mechanism and the third one is velaric ASD mechanism. So see this image. These are the organs of speech. Okay. So in that case we have lungs. Okay. After that we have trachea that is muchukurai. After that we have curved area that is larynx. It is also known as Adam's apple or the voice box. Okay, It contains vocal, vocal cords or vocal fold, folds okay? where pitch and volume would be produced. Okay, At the top of the larynx we have lip-like cap that is epiglottis. Okay, The main function of larynx and epiglottis is to block the windpipe when we eat so that food will not be accidentally inhaled adha nama saapidra po pesa koodadun solvaanga lya yen appadina nam epiglottis vande nama pesra po open aagum okay va nam and the time la nama saaptona idu vande food pipe idu vande windpipe so windpipe ku la and the food poi namakku porayirum Okay, that's why we talk about it and talk about it. Okay, that's why. Here we have the clear picture of uh, organs of speech. So, here we have larynx and here it is vocal cord. Okay, and this area is epiglottis and this is pharynx. And here we have nasal passage and this is oral passage and this is lower lip lower front teeth okay and tongue tongue is a main organ so tip of the tongue front of the tongue back of the tongue root of the tongue here we have uh, upper lip upper front teeth okay soon after that we have teeth ridge that is alveolar ridge and soon after that we have hard palate okay hard area that is hard palate curved area and soon after that we have soft palate okay and after that we have uvula okay these are the organs of speech the first one is pulmonic ast mechanism in pulmonic ast mechanism lungs and respiratory muscles are involved and respiratory muscle is nothing but muscles which help for breathing okay the walls of the lungs will be the initiator for this airstream here we have two process one is pulmonic aggressive that is pushing out the air and pulmonic ingressive is nothing but it is the process of breathe in okay in english language uh, and in the most of the Indian languages, we uh, we have pulmonic airstream mechanism. So, pulmonic ingressive is used only for yawning and snoring, not for speaking. Okay. And the next one is glottalic airstream mechanism. So, here in this airstream mechanism, the closed glottis acts as an initiator. Okay. And the air in the pharynx area is used. And both glottalic aggressive and ingressive airstream are used in some languages in the world. So, glottalic ingressive is used in Sindhi language, that is Indo Aryan language. Okay, and the next thing is uh, this is the image of uh, glottis, and the last one is. Velaric airstream mechanism. In this airstream mechanism, back of the tongue is the initiator, and the air in the mouth is set in motion during the airstream mechanism. And velaric ingressive exists in African language. Okay, and velaric aggressive is not exist in any languages. So that's all about airstream mechanism. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more videos.
So do like, do share, do learn. Taste the fruit of English. Thank you.